I think above all, what I'm most proud of is the way our school and our community has pulled together uh, in the face of all of the challenges. Uh, and this has been such a trying time for everybody and we've seen, I think it's a test of character and whether it drives places apart or pulls them together. And ours really pulled together, both students, faculty, staff, alumni, pulled together to keep each other safe and make it possible to carry forward with a truly vibrant learning community and really engaged with the public. I think what makes our school stand out is that we are a place that is both uh, rigorous and ambitious academically, but deeply engaged outside of the campus. Uh, so both locally, uh, deeply engaged in New Orleans and in Louisiana, uh, through public service, through pro bono work, through clinics, uh, really out in the community, but also engaged deeply internationally. Uh, and Tulane Law School is a place that has been defined by its global perspectives and its international community uh, going back to its very beginning. I think some of the biggest challenges confronting the planet in future decades are revolving around environment and energy. Uh, and we see that in record-breaking storms uh, here on the Gulf Coast. We see it in uh, record-breaking wildfires around the globe and uh, climate changes uh, in the energy transition from fossil fuels to new sources of energy. Uh, and frankly, we see it in the crisis that's unfolding in Europe right now. Uh, and our centers for environmental law and energy law uh, are uniquely positioned uh, to be of service to uh, helping the world uh, untangle these complex challenges and find a path forward uh, that plays to our international strength, our defining uh, academic strengths in maritime law, in environmental energy. Uh, so I think that these, we are uniquely positioned uh, to dig in and really be of service to society uh, in helping to crack uh, some of the greatest challenges ahead. I think our nimbleness uh, and the collaborative spirit of our faculty and our students and community uh, will, will define our future. Uh, our ability to continue to pivot and, and uh, address emerging challenges uh, both locally and around the world through the research and policy work done here and through the teaching uh, is something that uh, not every institution has the ability to uh, be as adaptive. Tulane philanthropists have been essential partners in every single major initiative that we've undertaken at the law school. Uh, three new clinics launched in the past two years, entirely uh, supported and made possible through philanthropy, uh, doing important work in the community in the area of First Amendment law, immigration law, uh, representing women who have been uh, victims of domestic violence. Uh, new centers in energy and environmental law that are doing cutting edge work uh, addressing some of the biggest emerging problems in the world today. Uh, new professorships addressing a range of new disciplines uh, at the school. Uh, all of this has been made possible through philanthropy uh, and it's the, some of the most exciting things that are happening are not only through the financial support but also through the direct partnership and energy uh, of our alumni and other donors. Tulane Law School's future is extremely bright, uh, and I say that because the future trends that are shaping the world uh, align very directly with the, with the defining strengths of Tulane. Uh, internationally, problems are essentially international now, and that has been uh, a defining feature of Tulane from the very beginning, our global and comparative perspective. Uh, the public engagement uh, of the school has been a defining spirit, and that uh, has never been more important in getting scholars uh, out engaged in addressing some of the world's complex challenges. Uh, so I think the future uh, is heading directly in the strengths of the